Well, can you imagine living on a grocery budget of just $35 a week? The money-saving mom and her husband did just that. And here with some ways to help you stretch your dollar as a family, um, and especially as your family grows, is Crystal Payne. Good morning, Crystal. Good morning. Really nice to have you on the show. That's unbelievable to think, because I know you're a mom with three, that you could, you could survive on a grocery and household products budget of just $35 a week? Yes, well, you know, a lot of people, they feel like, how on earth did you do it? And I think it really started from just having that belief that, you know, we're going to have this can-do committed attitude because this is the money that we have. My husband was going through law school and we wanted to stay out of debt. And so we just committed to make it work and we viewed it as a challenge. And I kind of just, you know, viewed it as a game to see how well we could live on how little. So how do you do it? People are, are going to wonder, are, are there certain things that you buy, certain brands? Do you clip a lot of coupons? You know, it's really combining a lot of different things, and I've been doing it for a long time, so you get better and better as you go along. But things like pairing coupons with sales, we save a lot of money by doing that freezer cooking so that we don't have to run out and get dinner at the last minute from care, you know, a fast food restaurant. Um, buying um, in bulk, cooking from scratch, playing the drugstore game. And one of my favorite ways is by switching from name brand to store brand. We save a lot of money by doing this. And you know, just as an example, for people who buy baby formula, you can save 50% off the cost of baby formula if you buy store brand instead of name brand. That is a lot of money. It can add up to something like six hundred dollars a year. That's very significant. Plus, you can save even more if you print coupons for the store brand formula at storebrandformula.com. Storebrandformula.com is where you can go specifically for baby formula to save. Yes. What are some of your other really good ideas? I, I, I wonder how your family copes with having less. Yes, well, you know, for us, really what has helped us is just to step back and ask ourselves before buying anything, do I need this? That simple question has really prevented us from spending money on things that we didn't need and wouldn't really use, and it's, it's kept us from a lot of buyer's remorse. You use a term called coupon ease. What is that, and how do you make that work? You know, so many people, they watch shows like Extreme Couponing, and you feel like, I want to cut my grocery bill. That looks so cool, but oh, wow, that would take a lot of time, and I don't have that kind of time and energy to invest in it. I encourage people to start really small. Use a coupon database. You can find one on my site, moneysavingmom.com. This is a, just a database of printable and other coupons that are available, so you can take your grocery list, what you're already planning to buy, and you can type in the item name or the brand name of those items. And then you can print the coupons that are generated, go to the store, save some money, all for spending very little time to do it. So it's moneysavingmom.com? Yes, that's my site, and we have a lot of great coupons, and I'll alert you to when there are freebies and giveaways and lots of money-saving tutorials. I'll walk you step-by-step step through how to cut your grocery bill and other great things like that. It's wonderful. Again, that website, moneysavingmom.com, and congratulations to you for surviving on $35 a week for um, both household products and groceries. I think that's really neat. Thank you so much. Nice to have you on the show.